みなさんこんにちはレナです今日は名古屋駅に来てます後ろは新幹線の出入り口ですここに外国人がたくさん通りますのでその外国人に今日インタビューをしたいと思いますいろいろな面白い質問を用意しましたので皆さんにその答えをシェアしたいと思いますやりましょう、uh, So please tell me your names and where you're from Shandy, I'm from Perth, Western Australia.、Uh, my name's Nathan, and I'm also from Perth.、Australia. Okay.、Yes. Is it your first time in Japan? My first time. First time? Second. Second time. Yes. Okay, why did you decide to come to Japan?、Uh, well, he's been twice,、mm-hmm. my partner's been three times. And okay. The pants was great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, it's more for, you know, your benefit. Where have you been so far? Into Osaka, Kyoto.、Mm-hmm. It's beautiful, by the way. Kyoto、okay. is、yeah. amazing. Yeah. Last time we came, it was only, it was only Tokyo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we came for two weeks,、uh-huh. uh, but this time we're still coming for two weeks.、Uh, mm-hmm. But hey, Kyoto was gorgeous. Oh、yeah. my god. We went to the Golden Temple. Yeah.、Uh, that was pretty cool. Was it very crowded? Not as much as you would think.、Okay. I don't think. Not, as to- not as much as Tokyo. Oh, yeah. Tokyo、okay. was insane. Yeah.、It's、this time、cool. as well? I don't know, we'll see. We haven't been、uh, there you, yet. You're yeah, going after、yeah, this. Okay. Uh, for five days, I think. Okay, yeah, cool. So that'd be pretty cool. Was there anything you did that was especially memorable? Bamboo、Everything. Forest, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I went to the Bamboo Forest、yeah. and、uh, the Golden Temple.、Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. That was massive, wasn't it?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. The scenery in general was、mm-hmm. just really good. Is there any Japanese food that you especially like?、Uh, I like katsu curry. <laughs> yeah? Okay, nice. Yeah. 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 I haven't tried much Japanese food yet. Okay.、Um, so we've only been here for like three days.、Mm-hmm. And so far, we've had fast food because there just hasn't been much time. Japanese fast、ramen、food is great、tonight. as well. Oh, ramen, ramen is good. Nice.、Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And for、yeah. you? Me? Oh, oh mate. Favorite Japanese food? I'm all about that American food. <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> so、uh, not that much Japanese food. No, <laughs> not really. I mean, considering being from New Zealand, all the seafood and stuff. Big、yeah. seafood there. Yeah. Big seafood here, but no. Okay. It has to be burgers, eh? <laughs>、okay. Well, to each their own, yeah, yeah, right? Sure.、Uh, but you like the Japanese beer? Yeah,、oh, I like any beer. <laughs> any beer, any beer. <laughs> but any like, memorable interactions with, foreign,、uh, with Japanese people? Just brief interactions,、uh-huh. but not really memorable. Okay. You know, just、okay. like, you know, being foreigners. <laughs> in their country. Stand out. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah. All the time. Always get the looks, you know? <laughs> well, I think you stand out here in Nagoya more than in Tokyo or in Kyoto because there are just so yeah, many foreigners so. there. Yeah,、uh, there's a lot more foreigners than you think, though. Yeah. Was there anything you struggled with while being here in Japan? Yes. Yes.、Uh, so, when I first got to the airport in Japan, I knew they had the bidets, but I did not know how to use. Ah, the, yeah, Japanese toilets.、Uh, yes. The toilets,、uh, <laughs> the shower, I was a little bit frustrated with, but got to it in the end. Okay, great.、Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anything you struggled with while in Japan? Nah, he does all the work, so. Ah, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's great if you just have to follow. Yeah. Thing,、uh, like you had some kind of image of Japan before coming here and something that was different, or was it the same as you expected? or? Just nice people,、mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, yeah. just humble and always willing to help out.、Mm-hmm. It's just amazing you can leave stuff places and nobody does anything. You yeah, know I mean? it's, yes, it's really good. That's great.、Yeah. After. I didn't expect it to be so beautiful, like、um, the place like Kyoto and stuff、mm-hmm. like that. I didn't expect so much nice scenery.、Oh, yes. I don't really know what I was expecting. Okay. But yeah. So you're positively surprised. Yeah. That's so nice. Thank you so much for your time.、Uh, can you start by telling me your names and where you're from?、Uh, sure.、Uh, I'm Andrew and、uh, I'm from New York. I'm Matthew. I'm also from New York City. Okay. Hi. I'm Lena. I'm from Germany. Nice、oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you.、Um, is it your first time in Japan? Yes.、Uh, I'm actually an exchange student here.、Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, where? So,、uh, at the Nanzan University. Oh, cool. Okay. So, here in Nagoya. Yes. How、uh, long have you been here? A little over two months. Okay. I'm just traveling. This is also my first time. Okay. I'm His childhood friend, so、uh-huh. I came to visit him. And while I'm here traveling for two weeks, cool,、um, very nice. So, so far, I've been Tokyo, Kyoto, Aomori. Why been, Aomori? So, <laughs> I just wanted to go up north, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. And then from there, I went on to Hokkaido, yeah. So, I visited、uh, Sapporo,、mm-hmm. Wakanai, and I、mm-hmm. went up to Cape Soyo, the、mm-hmm. most northern point in Japan. 
and then I went down towards like Obihiro and Shiroe, and then I'm back here. Yesterday. Is it your first time in Japan, yeah. and you decided to go like that far I off the beaten track? That's so cool. So, what did you like best? I honestly really liked um, Hokkaido in yeah. general. I feel like. Hokkaido is the place I had the best food so far too, mm -hmm. and just like really nice people. Mm -hmm. So I better, you know, I felt very welcome there. Okay. Do you have some kind of like story about anyone you met? Not too many. There was one place. So um, the main reason I wanted to go to Obihiro is because um, this manga series took place there, right? Silver Spoon or Gin no Saji. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I want to check out like the Bane places and stuff like that, which is like a unique horse race that they only do there. Okay. One of the like small little izakayas that I went to, right? The shop owner was actually from the same school and school year as the author of that manga, it's by sheer coincidence. Wow! So I had a really fun chat with him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool, that's so nice. That's so like, I don't know. That's such a coincidence. It, yeah, such a cool coincidence. <laughs> So, you've been here for two months. Mm -hmm. Have you had some time to travel or have you only been in Nagoya? What I did was, uh, our my first week here, I spent like a sort of family vacation with my family. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, we landed in Tokyo, we explored a little bit over there, mm -hmm. and we came to Kyoto, explored there. Mm -hmm. Then we came to Nagoya and, uh, you know, uh, they we went our separate ways. Mm -hmm. And so far, I've only stuck to Nagoya, exploring like, you know, the okay. port, the, uh -huh. you know, Sakai, Nagoya X. Yeah. Um, you know, Ghibli Park, yeah. uh, and uh, I still haven't seen Nagoya Castle, but I still, uh, but I that's you next on go, my list. You should list. go. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. And Osu, have you been to Osu? Uh, no, not yet, but I want oh, to go definitely. as well. Oh, definitely. It's my favorite place in Nagoya. Yeah. Do you have plans together? Um, we're actually supposed to uh, meet in uh, Kyoto uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So I'm yeah. still here for until Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I have my flight back. Mm -hmm. and I still want to check out uh, like Fushinari uh, Shrine yeah. a bit more because it's so big. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a lot I wasn't of really able to do that last time I came to Kyoto last week. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm heading there right now and then oh, okay. he's going to meet me there tomorrow and we're going to go hiking around okay. a bit. Just around the Fushiminari? Fushiminari Shrine, also like the five story pagoda because it's okay. nearby my hotel and stuff. Like okay, that. that's cool. Sounds like a very good plan. Why did you decide to come here or to study here in Japan? Well, well, first and foremost, ever since I was a little kid, I had like an interest in Japan, like its history, you know, its culture, you know, not to mention, you know, uh, growing up, you know, I also got interested in the Blankies. manga and yeah, manga <laughs> and anime. That's also a reason. But yeah. also, um, I, I guess this is a little bit more of a serious reason. But um, after like uh, the COVID lockdowns lifted, I just felt like, you know, after having spent so much time cooped up at home that, you know, I wanted to go out and like see the world a little bit more, you know, and, yeah. you know, actually spend some time like away from the family and kind of like, you know, <laughs> lear learn how to fend for myself uh, mm -hmm. for a decent portion of time. Yeah. So just going all across the world uh, to the other side of the world to do that. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Good! I hope you are enjoying yourself. Yes, yes uh, I am. Is it going to be a whole year? Uh, no, uh, I actually plan on returning just before Christmas. Okay, so three months in general, uh, total? Well, like four, uh, okay. essentially, but you know, like about eight weeks are left, so... Okay, you know. uh, that's still a lot of time to yeah. enjoy your freedom, I guess. True, true. <laughs> was there anything that was challenging for you coming here, being here? Personal thing was that I had to learn how to cook some basic things like and you know I have some experience but it was like okay you got to do a little bit more work than you did before yeah. the additional challenge of being in another country doing that with like all the other yeah. things in the supermarkets and, 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 yeah shopping in the supermarket in Japan is especially tricky especially if you have like very little experience with kanji like I hear yeah. like I do yeah. did you learn some Japanese in preparation uh, just some basics not a lot but like what's amazing is that I've only been here for two months and I've learned so much and and it, it's been reinforced because I use it every day when okay. I go places. That's great. You know. So you're really trying to challenge yourself to speak Japanese as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it, it's funny because like now whenever I hear like uh, ambient conversations around me, I can like pick up like just a little bit of the context of what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay, okay, that means this. 
So they're probably talking about something like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Be back in, in the US, you're going to you know forget everything if you don't continue practicing. Well, hopefully, if I keep on watching subtitled uh, anime and manga, then <laughs> that's the way to do you it. Know, yes. I'll, I'll keep some of it intact. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Did you pick up some Japanese? Uh, well, I studied Japanese for about a year or so, and then uh -huh. while I was still in my last year in university. Mm -hmm. You know I, the basics. You I can know the say basics. hello, I thank the you. And yeah, I could, nice. And again, because I studied a bit on my own also for a little over a year now, uh, I could get around pretty easily now too. As so well. that's why it wasn't that difficult to go to Aomori and Hokkaido no, and all those places. Yeah, no, it was great. I feel like that would be a big challenge for someone first time coming to Japan and no, no Japanese. And Probably, but I mean, there's good translation apps too and websites. One yeah. I highly recommend is um, DeepL. DeepL, DeepL yeah. is great. And if you just want to communicate also, you could just put it into DeepL and put it into, like copy paste it into Google Translate. So you get like the Romanji underneath it, so you could still communicate. Try speaking. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's a good tip. Have either of you experienced an earthquake in Japan? I'm not sure. <laughs> Here's the thing, like every so often, like, you know, I'm uh, like, it's very unusual because every so often I'll like walk and then all of a sudden I'll feel like, whoa, why did I step like that, you know? <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's from an earthquake or not. It's like, it, like I haven't experienced a big one. Like, yeah, you get paranoid about yeah, it because I, oh, <laughs> there are some. Like the first few weeks I was especially paranoid about earthquakes, but as time went on and I realized like how many precautions and how much like, you know, the, uh, you know, preparation uh, the Japanese people like take to like be prepared in the in the event of one, I kind of like calmed down a lot. Yeah. Um, like it's it, on occasion I'll be like, oh, I hope this doesn't happen. But, <laughs> yeah. but like overall, I'm not as anxious about it happening as I was before. OK. Is there anything about Japan you would like to you know, change or would like to be different? That's a bit of a tough question to answer. Um, be honest. <laughs> well, I guess uh, as an American, uh, or especially, you know, just overall, like someone who eats a different sort of food palette than the Japanese, uh, than the Japanese do, one of the things that surprised me was like the portion sizes of the food. Mm -hmm. Like that sometimes it's just like so small, <laughs> you know, that like, I'll, I'll order a full set, oh sorry, a full set meal yeah. and uh, it's just like, it's not enough. I need to order dessert actually, like, and that's okay. something I never do back in America. Okay. Yeah. But overall, like, uh, the food here is uh, very good and, you know, uh, I wouldn't change what it is, I just change how much there is. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's a good answer actually, I like yeah. it for you. I mean, in terms of me, again, I've only been here for two weeks. I went up all the way north, north. Uh, I haven't read, because you hear stories of like, when you go out to more rural places, they, they don't want to do anything with foreigners and stuff like that. I personally haven't ran into it. I had an absolutely amazing time there, very friendly people. The one thing that irks me is the one yen coin, and it's so yes. useless. So every time I go through a shrine, I just throw all of them in and like, take them. I don't want them. I've never, like, so many foreigners tell me this. Mm. But I've never had that problem. I just give exact change and I never have too many one yen coins. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why they can't just round it off to a nice hundred or fifty. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. But still. Just give it to the gods. Give it to the gods. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good option, I think. Last question. Have you had any kind of culture shock? Oh, yeah. Like a pretty big culture shock. Because like, um, especially after you know, the first few uh, days slash week was pretty tough because I had always been with my family. Mm -hmm. Like, the longest I had ever been apart from them was like maybe a month, mm -hmm. may maybe two months. Mm -hmm. But then the prospect of being in a country with like no cousins, no family, nobody, uh, very few people speak English. I don't recognize any of the text or the food. And like, you know, I just have zero like survival skills. And it's just like, it, it, you know, it can hit you all at once, especially mm -hmm. if you don't do a lot to prepare beforehand when you come to Japan uh, yeah. for like uh, study abroad or for like, you know, mm -hmm. living here. Yeah. So that was difficult at first. It was difficult at first, but like, um, the, the secret is to just basically like 
find a bunch of people who are just as clueless as you <laughs> yeah, and stumble helps. through it together. That, that helps definitely, I yeah. think so too. Have someone to talk about your fears and... Exactly, yeah. exactly. exactly. That's great. Yeah. Okay. And culture shock? Culture shocks. Well, I guess there's two, but there are two I already kind of came in expecting, mm -hmm. uh, especially coming in from New York City. One is the kind of, you have to be quiet on like the metro and oh, yeah. the buses mm -hmm. and stuff like that, right? And even like on the Shinkan set, they Very say, you quiet. know, go like yeah. in between cars to talk on the phone or something. So sometimes my mom would call me and be like, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't talk to <laughs> <laughs> um, But the other thing, uh, so this happened to me yesterday because um, I was going all the way from Hokkaido, from Shiraoi, because I was going to the Ainu Museum, mm -hmm. uh, all the way here to uh, Nagoya. That's to a go long to, uh, trip. <laughs> I came into my hotel at past midnight. They already gave the room away, unfortunately. <laughs> but they gave me a nicer one, so I'm happy. Okay, so good. <laughs> yeah, so it's a happy accident. But the reason I came in so late is because I ran to the station. I got on the train finally, right? And then I looked around and I left something at the station. So I'm like, I have to go back because no. I have I have to get it back. Oh, no. So I did the whole round trip back, not the round trip, but like from the next station back. Mm -hmm. And I got all my replacement tickets and I asked them like, hey, I left two white little bags here. Did you see it? I literally just left the station like 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and they just pulled out, like neatly packed up, wrapped yes. up and everything. They're like, oh, just sign here and it's all yours again so i was so happy that they so saved great. it again yeah. new york city that would be gone in a heartbeat you yeah won't see it. okay that's true here in japan you can't lose anything like even if you lose it you go back it's there yeah or so some, they always pick it up yeah that's so awesome. i guess just how neatly organized everything is i really like that yeah, that's great i yeah. liked your answers a lot and thank i think uh, our viewers are going to get a totally different perspective as well so oh, thank you so much okay can you tell me your names and where you're from my name is Phil, and this is my nephew Aiden, and we're okay. from Australia. And, okay, cool. And uh, we've been here just over two weeks. Uh huh. And Where so, have you been so far? Pretty much everywhere. So Tokyo, we went up north for a bit. So Nagano, Nikko, mm -hmm. uh, and then way down south today to Hiroshima, and uh -huh. then we're heading back up. Okay, so, so you just arrived in Nagoya just now. That's right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, is it your first time in Japan? It is. Yep. For you as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, what has been your favorite experience so far? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the detail of Japan. Just the way they are so efficient and polite. Yeah. You know, their, their etiquette is just uh, mind blowing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like a fantasy land. That's the way I see it. <laughs> uh, the, the nature compared yeah. to Australia is completely different. Yes, it's different. And yeah. of course, the Shinkansen. Mm hmm. Coming from Australia, our fastest train is about 120, 130 kilometers an hour. Mm -hmm. We all yeah. seem to be going 300 kilometers an hour. Yeah, yeah, it's super fast. Yeah. yeah. What? How about you? Uh, probably the nature, like around Nico and mm -hmm. all the mountains and everything. We just oh, don't yeah. have the same kind of stuff in Australia. So yeah. great for uh, hiking and all the bird mm -hmm. life and everything. Yeah. That's been my favorite part. Nice. Yeah. What has been your like impression of Japanese people? Oh, incredibly friendly. Yeah. yeah. Just do anything to help you. Uh, yeah, I concur. Um, just. Incredibly polite. Uh, if you've got any problems, you know, they can uh, tell you where to go. What has been your favorite food? Last question. To be honest, the uh, the street desserts. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. nice. Yeah, uh, like the, the, the matcha ice cream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the crepes as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we're slowly getting into the savory street snacks. We want to get into ramen as well, so we've still got a, another week to go. So, mm -hmm. but so far it's been. So the you're desserts. trying a lot of stuff. Yeah, we're getting. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, slower. Cool. Yeah. Nice. What's your favorite food? Yeah, I think I like the ice cream here actually. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. ice cream. Yeah. Nice. To us, so that's probably my favorite thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much for okay, your guys. time. That was great. Thank no you so much. いろんな面白い人と今日話せてよかったね。本当に楽しかったです。皆さんは追加で何か質問とかがあればコメントで書いてください。また次のインタビューの動画でその質問を聞いておきたいと思います。この動画が楽しかったならぜひいいねボタンを押してくださいね。チャンネル登録もよろしくお願いします。それではまた次の動画でも会いましょう。バイバーイ。